Alright, so you want to learn about Wamai, the beast of the deep, and Jaeger's clone? Then grab a seat and relax, because- Hey yo bro, we don't got time for that man, it's a 10 minute tutorial, let's go! Hey guys, welcome back to Doctor Hood's 10 minute tutorials, and today we'll be going over Wamai. Here's a section page you want to jump to any point in the video. Yo man, just hurry it up Bro, man. I got it, I got it, hold up. So what exactly is the purpose of Wamai? Well, the short answer is to replace Jaeger. Yep, Ubisoft, the first ever operator from the continent of Africa, and you make him an exact copy of one of the most famous operators in the game. Bruh, if that ain't social justice, I don't know what is. All jokes aside, well, Mai was brought in to replace Jaeger's high pick rate, which was over 90% in ranked games in Platinum and buff. Now beyond the fact that both Jaeger and Wamai use an assault rifle, have access to the P12 pistol, and rock the balance 2 speed, 2 armor ratio, Wamai was introduced to change the way ranked and competitive players approach the utility burning meta, so the addition of smaller, hideable discs that can redirect utility in any wanted direction. Now in Ubisoft's head, they saw a solution to the ongoing problem that was the monotony of the Ash Jaeger main and the utility burning meta. But in reality, they had made a grave mistake. Now you see, Ubisoft thought competitive teams were going to use Wamai as an alternative to Jaeger. But hell nah. Competitive teams saw the opportunity to bring two Jaegers, one of which having a shield. Now don't worry Ubisoft, while competitive teams may have outsmarted you, at least you solved the ranked problem, right? Now even after a year of development, the utility meta has still not gone away, and Ubisoft is now forced to put out a patch for 5.4 that looks to remove one of Wamai's discs and his shield alongside making Jaeger's ADS work on a 10 second timer. To say that the utility meta is going to be shredded is an understatement. Now the loss of Wamai's shield and one of his madness was expected to say the least, considering how often he was used in Pro League strats. And today, this tutorial will go over how to use Wamai in Season 5.4 and beyond. So what is the role of Wamai on the team? Well before the update takes place in 5.4, Wamai has been used to hold off rooms alone with his shield and madness that were vital to attacks on certain sites like that of holding Pixel, Bunker, and Hookah. The loss of the shield will weaken his ability to be a strong anchor, forcing Wamai to rely on natural cover to engage enemies without a shield. Therefore, players should expand his role from anchor to a flexible anchor to utilize his impressive lineup, supporting himself with proximity mines to cover flanks, and using the madness to protect himself from the use of utility flushing out his position, while using natural elements of cover to engage the enemy. Certain players that are comfortable with his weapons could even do a shallow roam, using the madness to disrupt the use of utility during initial pushes and impacts to open up lines of sight. While it remains to be seen what will happen to Wamai come year 5 season 4, the combination of utility now, intel gathering, and sight remodeling will allow players to become flexible with this operator's use. Wamai directly supports anchors and flexible anchors, especially those who utilize shields like that of Goyo and Smoke. Well, my provides the madness to delay the destruction of the utility and allows the anchors to rely on their utility for protecting the site for longer. Now, while my directly counters entry fraggers with utility and ace, providing a hard counter to Ying, Zofia, and Ash, who use the utility heavily when pushing site. Wamai is supported by utility now operators such as that of Jaeger, which allows Wamai to hold off pushes on vital areas longer while wasting away utility. Area now operators such as that of Smoke, Goyle, Maestro, and Castle can also help Wamai by protecting his flanks and supporting Wamai in protecting areas vital to taking side control with their utility. Now, operators that count to Wamai are those that contain utility such as that of flashes and maybe Zofia and Ash charges that would waste away Wamai's magnets. And intel gathering operators such as that of IQ can locate and destroy Wamai's magnets, making it harder for him to hold certain sites. Area now attackers such as that of Capital, Gridlock, and Nomad can also cut off Wamai's rotation, making it harder for him to hold vital angles. Going over Wamai's loadout, we're going to choose between the AUG A2 and the MP5K depending upon the range of engagement. I generally would choose the AUG A2 if I'm engaging at re 
ranges of 20 meters or less, and I'll choose the MP5K if I'm engaging at ranges of 20 meters or more, and this is all depending upon the sights. Going over the AUG A2, I personally choose the holographic sight because I'm engaging at ranges of 20 meters or less, and I choose the flash hider, as personally you're not going to be using the compensator due to its lower fire rate, and the suppressor weakens the great amount of damage that comes with this assault rifle. Uh, I will, for the MP5K, I generally choose the 1.5 times scope due to engaging at longer ranges, and I'll choose the muzzle brake. Now, the reason why I choose the muzzle brake, personally, it has the most recoil control compared to that of the flash hider or the compensator, and personally, I never choose the silencer because the gun is already low in damage as it is. Um, as for choosing pistols, I personally don't choose the Keratos due to its low capacity and its high recoil, but if you're comfortable with the weapon, I fully understand. I personally choose the P12 because it has a high capacity and low recoil with a decent amount of damage, which makes sense considering that when you're choosing pistols, it's about choosing the weapon you'll choose when you run out of ammo, which sometimes happens with Lamai. Now, as for gadgets, while everyone used to choose a deployable shield because the deployable shield is going away, you're now going to need to choose between impacts and proximity mines. It really should depend upon how you're going to use the operator. If you're going to roam, I would recommend using the impacts. If you're going to anchor, I recommend using the proximities to cover your flanks. Now, some quick tips to go over before we go over the do's and don'ts for my gadget is the fact that when my starts out with one magnet at the beginning of the round and then gains one every 40 seconds, carrying up to four magnets come season 5.4. Now, note that these magnets have a radius of 6 meters when capturing projectiles, and once it's captured the projectile, that it will take 3.5 seconds for that projectile to detonate. This is super important for countering offers such as that of Sophia and her concussion grenades, which when detonate can actually stop diffusing and placing bandit charges. So this should be something that well, my players should consider. While there are plenty of places to place well, my discs, here's a couple of rules that you can follow to maximize the efficiency of these discs. First off, do not place these discs in the middle of the room, as they can be easily seen by the enemy during their push. Do not also place these in the middle of the ceiling. This is a very common place for beginning well, my players, and at crouch level you will often see these discs. Also, do not place well, my discs right next to your shield, as they may end up deadening the shield if they are explosive, or if they are flashbang they will cut off your line of sight. The same thing goes for placing well, my magnets above the shield, because while it might stop nades and other utility from reaching the shield, you still will have concussions and flashes going off within your field of sight. Finally, consider the angles with which the attackers are going to attack from, as your disc might get exposed from, say, windows or other entrances that the enemy team may open up. When placing well, my magnets, use natural cover to conceal the disc positions. These discs should be facing with my in order to maximize their chances of capturing utility that aims at exposing with my position. You can also place with my gadgets in positions that expose enemy pushes by redirecting the utility near the attackers, acting as a method of area denial. Make sure to place with my magnets at least 3 meters apart to prevent explosives from destroying your other magnets. Finally, don't forget to place a magnet or two on your flank to prevent attackers from using utility from the rear. While Wamai is losing his deployable shield in 5.4, I want to take the last two minutes to go over a couple of positions that Wamai can use with the deployable shield to defend certain sites, though you will need the cooperation of a teammate to place the shields for you. Now in Cafe Dostoevsky, I ultimately use Wamai on third floor to overlook Cigar Lounge in a place called Pixel, which overlooks the breach of the Cigar Lounge wall and the default plant. I will also use it in first floor kitchen service in the kitchen bar, where I'll ultimately reinforce the wall to my right while I use my shield to hold main door. Now on Coastline, I'll end up placing my shield just outside of Hookah Door in order to play all the way back to the end of base and hold the Hookah Balcony and Ruins. And in Sunrise Bar and Coastline, I'll reinforce the wall to my left to play a position called Suicide where my ends up holding Picture Room while also holding the Kitchen Hallway Push. In Clubhouse, I'll ultimately use Wamai to defend Garage while playing CCTV by placing my shield just in front of the opening and catwalk that allows me to look upon the garage door. The other position I'll play Wamai in is blue just behind the generator, which will allow me to look upon the eastern stair and oil pit push. Now in Oregon, Wamai is essential for holding second floor in case of an attic push. Here I'll generally place the shield just before the ledge drop, and then you can play just below the ledge, peeking the left and right angles while placing your Wamai discs above the shield in order to throw out any utility. Now on basement, we'll play Wamai in bunker similar to how we played Goyo, where we'll place the shield just behind the pillar to allow the Jaeger to play his ADS along with two Wamais, and once all the utility has been used, we'll fall back and reinforce. 
Now the final map I use for Mayon is Kansa, where sometimes on the basement site I'll put a deployable shield just behind the kitchen bomb to hold off the visa bush. Also while holding Kanso off as the second floor, I sometimes will put a deployable shield facing our guys while I open up the left side of the bar to hold off the yellow bush. And with that, you guys have everything you need to know of how to succeed with Wamai come Season 5.4. While yes, you'll now need a friend to bring the deployable shield for you for the positions we just went over, I know you'll find a way to come up with new and innovative ways to play Wamai. If you guys have an opera you want me to do next, please leave it in the comments below. And thank you guys for watching.